Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm with Denise. Denise is a... I'm a journalism student at USC. All right. Uh, and today, I'm going to be interviewed about... Uh, taking your motorcycle up Highway 2, which is also called the Angeles Crest Highway. All right. All right. So, how long have you been riding a motorcycle for? I started riding when I was 11 years old back in the Philippines. I came here in the United States in year 2000. I started riding here in this country back in 2008. So, five years now. So, how would you rate yourself as a motorcyclist? How would I rate in, myself? In terms of uh, skill level. Well, wow, that's a tough question to answer. Let's say out of 10, maybe six or seven. <laughs> to take the two with your motorcycle. Why do people love going there? Well, all right, I'll explain to you why. Uh, if you are a motorcycle rider, the ideal place to ride is Southern California. Now, I want to be specific, not the northern part, not the middle part, but the southern part of Southern California. Why? Because all the great canyon roads, all the great twisty roads can be found in Southern California, including ACH2 or Angeles Crest Highway 2. And what about the two is great? Oh yeah. Well, you know what? Just imagine riding a sport bike, a high-speed sport bike on a 66-mile long, curvy, and twisty road. In a motorcycle rider perspective, in my point of view, it's like being in a little heaven. It's like a kid playing in a playground. Plus, include beautiful scenery. What can I say? It's so much fun. So how do you keep safe with the cars and the uh cyclists also sharing the road. Let me tell you, girl, by riding a motorcycle, to be specific, by riding a sport bike, don't think about safety at all. If you want to be safe, stay in your home. Alright? What I mean is that uh, by riding a sport bike, a high-speed sport bike on ACH2, you have to accept the fact that crashing your bike is inevitable. That riding on ACH2 can lead you ending up in a hospital. Worse, in a morgue. Now, how can you be safe every time you ride on ACH2? Well, I, maybe I can say you have to be a disciplined rider. But to be quite frankly, no riders follow the rules. <laughs> no, no riders follow the rules. Everybody is, all, is going beyond the speed limit. Everybody is passing the cars in front of them, passing the cyclist, passing the double solid yellow line. And that's the way it is on ACH2. That's why there's a lot of accidents on ACH2. Do you ever get um, cyclists or motorists that get mad at you or yell at you? All the time. All the time. 
especially the drivers you know driving inside their cars all the time what do you get what do they tell you well giving us the you know the f sign <laughs> <laughs> because you know uh through the corners uh, we pass them you know we pass the double solid yellow line and we overtake them so there are drivers who get pissed who get mad at you so what can we do what can i say you know it's part of riding a motorcycle now you wouldn't advise someone without who's not good at riding who's not yet um, skilled to ride up this mountain my advice um, what type of skill level is required for a motorcyclist to take the two what type of skill level? Yeah. Wow. So if they if they're a new if they're a beginner, do you advise them to go up the two at all? I suggest yes, why not? Like I said, it's uh, it's the ideal playground for the motorcycle riders. But concerning about safety, well, they had to be disciplined. They had to be a disciplined rider. And what does that they, mean? They can follow the speed limit if if they like, but to be honest, it's really hard to do, especially if or when you are on a on a super fast bike. You and, you, and you said you're, um, sometimes the beginners are the ones who crash the most? Yes. Why is that? Very true. Because most beginner riders are, uh, are riding beyond their skill limit, you know. Many beginner riders out there, they have these very powerful, fast sport bikes. Let's say a 1000cc Ducati 999. So that's a racing bike. How fast would that go, per se? On a straightaway, it can go up to 180 to 190 miles per hour. Now, the thing is, everybody can go fast on a straight line. Everybody can squeeze the throttle. But the question is, how skilled are you? Especially when taking this tight and narrow corner, you know, hitting those twisty roads. The question is, how skilled are you as a rider? You cannot just squeeze the throttle and squeeze it all the way up to 190 miles per hour, right? You have to be a skilled rider. So it's all about discipline. It's all about putting in your head that, hey, I'm a beginner rider. You know, I should discipline myself as a rider, perhaps uh, follow the speed limit. But to be quite frankly, it's really hard to do. <laughs>
On ACH, uh, like I said, it's very dangerous to ride there. All right. Uh, let's say I'm going to ride in Malibu. In Malibu, it's a different story because they have narrow roads. It's going to be more of a technical riding style, doing your body positioning, knee dragging. But the difference is that I cannot go as fast as the way I ride on ACH2 because on ACH2 on a straightaway on my bike I can go up to maybe 140 150 miles per hour and then through the corner between 65 to 75 miles per hour in Malibu it's a different story because they have narrow roads uh, through the corners I can go between 25 to 35 miles per hour on a short straight away maybe 40 50 so even if I crashed in Malibu I'll be all right 90% of the time riders who crashed in Malibu they will be just fine they will stand up and walk away now on ACH it's a different story it's a high-speed Canyon ride I know some people who crashed on ACH and unfortunately they they died now in our group uh, there are riders who ride with me in our group who unfortunately crashed on ACH uh, so yeah uh, by riding on ACH too you have to accept the fact that it can lead you ending up in a hospital oh wow yeah and I think that's the thrill of it right yes that's the thrill of it that's the thrill of it. High speed ride, uh, adrenaline, adrenaline rush. What else can you ask for? Is there any tension that motorcyclists have with cyclists that you know of? Based on my experience? Well, on the two. <laughs> on Highway 2, yes. Yes, there are. Can you explain that? Well, they just get pissed off. Sometimes you pass them and let's say there are a group of cyclists let's say maybe 15 20 cyclists and then they they're, they're just in the middle of the road so i'm on my sport bike so what am i going to do so i'm going to pass them all of them so sometimes they get offended if that's the right term <laughs> they will give you the the f sign or they will shout at you you know that that those kinds of things and you can't just stay behind them you have to. exactly yeah. exactly so yeah <laughs> um i think i'm gonna wait till that passes okay so um can you paint a picture for people listening um, what's it like say you're on your bike riding the two right now uh -huh. describe the scenery and how it feels it's beautiful it's amazing riding on a high-speed sport bike doing your thing body positioning knee dragging high speed and then at the same time seeing this beautiful scenery beautiful mountains beautiful trees plants it's a little heaven. What can I say? It's just simply gorgeous, amazing. Isn't that distracting though? <laughs> if you're going really fast and then you're seeing all this. Well, uh, maybe, perhaps, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but yes, yes. Um, I think that's it. Did I? Is there any question that I didn't ask, or did you want to add to the conversation? I believe we have covered everything. I believe we have covered everything. Okay. I just want to give a short advice. Uh, folks, remember, riding a motorcycle is just not a hobby. It's not just a passion, but also a commitment. All right? Be safe, have fun, and be disciplined not only for your safety, but also for the safety of others.
Now, in the start of this interview, of this conversation, I was cocky. I told Denise that if you're riding a sport bike, why would you even be concerned about safety? <laughs> well, I was just being honest because, because that's the way it is in, a, in the motorcycle world. But, yeah, just be safe, have fun, and be, be a disciplined rider. That's all I can say. Thank you. All right. All right. Go? Go. Okay. You, you can let go of the brake. Just squeeze the throttle. Oh! <laughs> Just 